Welcome to a Chesapeake Treasure. I'm Pete Lesher, Chief Curator for the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum, and today we are looking at a ship portrait of a Coast Guard cutter named Comanche. Uh, so Comanche is a cutter that was built in 1934, and this portrait was built was painted when the, the vessel was still fairly new. It's signed down here in the corner, uh, J. Selby, 1936. Uh, the, the artist, Joe Selby, was an, an African-American who started his career working as a crew on tugs down on the Gulf Coast. And Selby, at one point, lost one of his legs in a line handling accident. And at that point, there was, uh, there was no more work for him aboard tugs. He, uh, he, he was crippled by this accident. And he turned to painting ships' portraits. Uh, this happened in the 19-teens, and he continued painting ship portraits uh, for the rest of his life until he died in Miami in 1959. Part of his, his career was spent here on the Chesapeake Bay, and he painted a number of, of bay vessels out of uh, Baltimore or other, other parts of the Chesapeake Bay. This is a vessel that was associated for a while with, with Norfolk, although really that happened mostly after the, uh, after the Second World War. This vessel had a, a really storied history. It was uh, the Coast Guard, including this vessel, were taken into the United States Navy during World War II, and ser this one served in convoy duty, uh, taking vessels across the Atlantic. In the winter of 1943, she was escorting a, a convoy that included the troop ship Dorchester, uh, which was torpedoed, uh, and uh, sank in, in fairly short order, and she was on the spot to pick up the survivors. Now, the, Dor the sinking of the Dorchester was a rather famous incident in that uh, there were four chaplains aboard who gave their life jackets to other men so that they might live, and those four chaplains are memorialized as, as examples of, of self-sacrifice, of, of ideals of, of, naval, of naval service. This, this vessel, Comanche, was on the scene at the time, and after the, after the war she was uh, stationed in Norfolk for just a couple of years when the Coast Guard decided to sell her and she was acquired by the Virginia Pilots Association. So then she served for the next uh, several decades carrying pilots in and out from, uh, to incoming and outgoing, outgoing vessels uh, coming into Hampton Roads, the uh, ports of, of Chesapeake Bay. Uh, it is a, Joe Selby's portrait of Comanche is a classic ship's portrait. Uh, we see her uh, port side to, that is bow off to the left. She's actually not s completely side on, but, uh, but angled a little bit so that the bow is a little bit closer to the viewer. Uh, the treatment of the water and the sky is absolutely consistent with what Joe Selby did. And when we just recently acquired this, we recently purchased this this painting at, at auction. Um, we took it out of the frame and our staff is doing some surface cleaning on it, which is why it is no longer in the flame. And we could see even before we purchased it that there was uh, a little bit of uh, dirt in the sky, probably from fingers. Um, and uh, we're, we're doing a little bit of surface cleaning to see if, if we can brighten it up a little bit and remove those, remove those stains from it. Uh, a wonderful story connected to the Chesapeake Bay of the Coast Guard cutter Comanche painted by African-American ship portraitist Joe Selby. Thank you for joining me today for a Chesapeake Treasure.